For loop time scales one, etude number four, step, skip, jump. This one is fun because you get to make your own additions to the score by understanding what pattern came first. So the first pattern speaks of steps, skips, and jumps. That has to do with which finger we're going to after our ready steady on A. So they each start with ready steady. When it says step and, we're stepping up to the first finger. That's the very highest, next highest note. Then we go back to ready steady. But this time, instead of stepping, we skip the B and we go up to C sharp. We call that a skip because it's a third. We've left out one of the notes. That's what we do at the beginning of an arpeggio. The final interval is a jump. And we call that a jump because we've actually left out two fingers. That's also an arpeggio fingering because at the end of our arpeggio, we always have to do that fourth. We call it a fourth because it has four notes inside from A, B, C sharp, up to D. So that the first line will be. Then very charmingly, it climbs back down to the A. Rest, rest, rest. Now those rests are perfect for getting ready. So don't just take a break inside. Prepare the next note during the pause. Pause, pause. Now, in the next line, you'll see that only the first E's are written out. And you are meant to write in the rest of the notes. But how can you know what they are? Well, it's the same pattern. Ready, steady, step, and. Now, so you could see which finger I used. I was lifting these fingers, but it's actually a good idea when you do the jump to have the other fingers almost in place. Why? Because these two notes are coming next. We want to be efficient when we put our fingers down and not leave fingers hanging out up here because then we might be slow and have some bumps getting back to the other two notes. So, the ending of the piece. Ready, ready, and count here. So that final blast off goes back to crotchets. Ready for the whole piece? Let's do it. One, two, three, go.